Howdy, y'all. Tonight I'm going to do a video on these uh, Irish Setter wing shoes. Uh, I'm not sure what number they are because the uh, well, tag wore off in there. You can see that. But these are a mock toe wedge sole. Um, uh, and they do have a steel toe. That so they're also waterproof, they have a waterproof membrane. However, I will say the leather is not waterproof, so I would recommend oiling them up and you know, condition them like you would any other leather boot. You don't have to, it's not a requirement, but that's what I would do. That's just me. I don't know, I like to oil up boots, it makes them last longer. But, uh, yeah, I've had these for about two years, just about, yeah, uh, and you can see these are still in really good condition, you know, the sole hasn't worn down at all because it has this rubber piece on the bottom. You can see if you look, like, there's a separate yellow sole right there. So it's glued on like the rest of the sole, but the toe is stitched on all the way through. It's got a Goodyear welted, however it is a plastic welt, so you're probably not going to be able to get it re-sold unless you got the whole thing reconstructed. Uh, if you had a leather sole, they just cut, they just cut it and they glue a new sole on. But the plastic sole is going to be a little bit uh, harder to do that. Oh, but uh, but you know I've had a lot of use in these uh, because I've had them for two years, obviously. Uh, but I haven't like worked a lot in them. They are my work boots. However, I don't actually have a job, you know, because I'm still in school, but I have worn these for about, not every day, but I have worn these a whole lot for about two years, um, off and on with uh, these boots and in my cowboy boots, because I like cowboy boots, but I also like uh, these mock toes for work. So, yeah. This is like a kind of three-piece mock toe construction. You see, it's got one piece on the top. It's got a separate piece on the front right here. And then the rest of it down here. So, yeah. Not sure how much it sells for. Uh, I think it's going to be like three, four hundred dollars. I might be wrong. But it's not going to be cheap. But it is owned by Red Wing, and it's like kind of the daughter company of Red Wing, and it's, so it's a little bit cheaper than Red Wing. They're like the work version of all their other boots. Um, the laces on these, they came with regular cloth laces instead of leather laces, which, I mean, I don't have a preference, you know, I don't care, but... I will say the, the laces that came with these actually broke, so I replaced them with paracord. And so far, those work pretty good. Um, I like paracord laces. You may not, you know. Uh, it's all up to personal preference. I put them on there because that's what I had. And I like to use paracord. I don't know. I didn't have any spare laces. Um, the thing about the paracord, the paracord, it ain't gonna rip or nothing. Paracord. But enough about that. Um, these are, like I said, they are waterproof. Uh, you could like go walk through the mud and puddles, you know. 
you know, I seen a guy, he had a, he had another video. He actually got a pair of these to test it. He stuck his feet in a swimming pool, fully submerged up to the ankle. And uh, his feet were still dry when he pulled them out. So, yeah. Uh, but I've used these a lot. See, I got some paint, some uh, grease stains. Like brand new out of the box, these are really good pair, uh, looking pair of boots. But they're not going to be as slim as normal Red Wing boots because they do have a membrane, so they kind of make them look fat. You know, they got a bit of a wider sole to accommodate for that. So it does look kind of big on your feet. Speaking of which, if you're going to get these, I would recommend getting half size down for what your uh, normal foot size is because um, they, do, they do make these a bit big. Like this is a size 10. Uh, and I'm, and I'm a size 10. And I got these in a size 10. And these are actually a little bit too big, so I had to, and I actually had to put a second insole in there to accommodate for that. Because they're too big, you know. Uh, like my foot just had a lot of wiggle room in there. See, they do make these big. In fact, if you can get into a find a actual Red Wing store that you can walk into, I would try to do that first instead of ordering online so you can try the boots on, you know, make sure you get the right size. Because for Red Wing and Iris Shutter boots, it is kind of hard to find uh, the right size. But, yeah. If you were in the market for some work boots, you know, I would highly recommend these. But if you can get into a brick and mortar store, I would look for the ones that have this rubber piece. And I would make sure to get the right size. Like try a half a size down, and if that's too big, you need to go full size down because they do make these boots a bit bigger than the actual size. I don't know why they just do. So yeah. But you know, pretty nice looking boot. They're mock toes. I like mock toes. Um, yeah. One thing I do gotta say though, this uh, midsole right here, I'm not sure if it's cork or what. It might be rubber, but it looks like it's got pieces of cork in it. But I don't think it's important. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's kind of like rubber mixed with support. I don't know. But I don't think it is cork. It might be. Uh, I don't know if it has a shank in it or not. If it does, that's cool. If it doesn't, then. I'm not sure, so you might need to check on that. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, they're nice boots. And I would recommend them. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Go try them out. Bye.